Hey ladies, so you can probably hear the computer in the background working. Um, I moved the little mouse and now the big computer is like buzzing in the background so you can hear that. Hey puppy! So I am here for an update. It is cycle day three. Thank you puppy. It's cycle day three um, and I'm feeling quite a bit better than I was on Thursday. But I'm still, I mean, I'm still pretty depressed about it, the whole thing. Um, I'm really mad. I'm just, it's not a great place to be. But I was definitely worse off Thursday. So, um, it's getting better. Um, so let me tell you about my weight loss first. Um, not this Wednesday, but last Wednesday I went to my Weight Watchers meeting and I had gained like 3.8 pounds. So that sucked. And then I lost almost two pounds this from last week to this weigh-in. So um I'm hoping this week doesn't this next weigh-in doesn't suck because I've been eating like crap since AF showed. Um so I've really gotta get back to eating better because I really don't want to gain weight. I want to keep losing until I'm pregnant. So there's that. That's really it. Um, so let's move on to cycle stuff. Cycle day three. I had my cycle day three scan this morning. Oh, you can see puppy. Well, sorry. That's kind of a crappy shot of puppy, but you can see puppy. All right. There's puppy. <gasps> Hi, Huckleberry. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I had my cycle day three scan today. Everything looked good. My lining was at like 3.2, which is fine. Um, I had the triple line pattern, which is good. Um, I basically, it was funny, um, as soon as she stuck the wand in, I was sitting there, I was like, okay, this, my husband came with me today, and I was like, okay, there's my uterus, and there's the triple line pattern, oh, look, it's, and she like started measuring things, and was like, oh, look, it's 3.2, and then she switched it over to my left ovary, and I said, oh, there's my left ovary, you see all those little things, those aren't cysts, those little black dots are potential follicles, which mean potential eggs, which mean potential babies, blah, 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 and then she swung it over to my right, and I went, oh, look, there's more, <laughs> and I said, oh, look, I don't think there's any cysts, and she goes, you're right, you should be an ultrasound tech, I was like, okay, cool, maybe, maybe one day, so, um, Everything looks good on the ultrasound. We got the green light to start injections. So I start that tonight, which let me show you. Hold on one second. The um, people at the pharmacy ended up asking me if I had my pen still, and I, I kind of lied a little bit. I didn't want I didn't want the bad mojo from the failed cycle pen. So I said no. And they gave me a new pen because they were like I'm sure they're like pennies to them. But I always I decorate everything. So I decorated my last pen case. I decorated my um sharps container, so I decorated this one too. And I was all excited when I opened the box because I didn't know they made different colors. My last one was dark blue. This one is like bright apple green, which is awesome. So I decorated it, of course. And what? There we go. That's a little better. I don't know if it'll focus very well, but uh, there. Sorry, this is so weird. Okay, so there it is. It's got a little swallow on it, and it says the only way to face the future is to fly straight into it on the wings of hope. So, um, since everything about PCOS and infertility, which I'm not PCOS, but infertile, um, everything about infertility is hope, and, um, swallow is actually, I guess, the symbol for hope. So, there you go. So, I did that, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but we got the go-ahead, so I will start 75 IU of fall stem tonight, and we will probably just continue. We won't go um, down and up with the fall stem, um, and we will probably only be on fall stem unless there's a point where I need meds and I don't have any more, and they have some extra like Bravel or something, 
in office. So um, that's that. Um, instead of doing scans all the way through, my doctor this cycle is allowing us to do E2 levels. So for the first little bit, all I'm going to be doing is going into the office, into the lab really, and getting my blood drawn, taking my E2 level, and um, as soon as it hits 100, then we'll start doing scans. Um, until it hits 100, I will only do E2 levels, which is kind of nice because it saves a lot of money. It's about $469 for the scan appointments, um, which I get 30% off. And if you want more information about um, the cost of things, let me know, and I can make a video about the cost of things. I have no problem doing that, so just let me know. Um, but we get 30% off, which if you want a video, I'll make a video about that. Um, if you want a video about the cost, I'll put that in that video. Um, so it does, it costs a lot extra just to get the E2 levels drawn. So that's kind of nice. It'll save us some money. Um, and then as soon as we're good, we'll do our IUI and then I will start on progesterone again and go from there. This morning after we left the office, Jay and I talked about a lot of different things. Um, and I just really needed to wrap my head around what if this cycle doesn't work? What are we going to do? I knew we were going to take a break, not a trying break, just a break from treatment because we'll move on to IVF. Um, cause we just don't want to keep doing the same thing if it's not going to work. Um, we feel like giving it two tries is a pretty good try. And there are some people who will say, no, you need to really give it, you know, three, four, five tries before you really given it a good chance to work. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, anyway, so we will take a break until we have enough money to save for a couple rounds of IVF. And we will try in the meantime, and what we're going to do is I'm going to ask my doctor, my RE, to write a prescription for me for the progesterone, the endometrin. And um, we will just try on our own, but use the progesterone in the two-week wait should this cycle not work. We'll just continue that until we can afford um, IVF and then move on to IVF if it doesn't work in the meantime. We also decided that, I mean, I've always wanted to adopt, I've always wanted to foster. He's not comfortable just fostering because he doesn't want a bunch of kids that he gets attached to and then they go on and get adopted or they go on and go to a different foster care or whatever. So um, we talked a little bit today and um, we have officially decided that should this cycle not work out while saving for IVF and trying naturally, we will start the process for doing foster to adoption. We will not do straight foster, but um, just doing straight adoption costs a whole heck of a lot more money. And um, there's a lot more programs for foster to adopt. So we will start the process for foster to adopt and um, hopefully be able to have kids that way. Um, we don't care about um, race or ethnicity, so we'll, we may well end up with a different race child than us. Um, we will take siblings and we will look at special needs, um, but that is something that we decided today. So should this cycle not work out, we will begin that process just in, in a month or so. So um, that's exciting and it's been really nice to kind of get that decision going and I feel like we're really getting a lot of momentum and I feel like we're really um, I don't know getting getting in stride and coming into our own in this whole thing and I you know I asked him I said you know, do you even want to consider a long-term situation where we don't have children, just don't have any? And he said no. And I said, because I really don't want to consider that either. I just wanted to see where your head was at with that, um, that kind of thing. So um, that is our plan. And 
it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff um, to take in and to update on. And yeah, so um, IUI this cycle, if it doesn't work, natural trying with progesterone during the two-week wait until we can do IVF and starting the uh, foster to adoption process. Um, and I think, I think that's it. <laughs> As if that isn't enough, um, I think that's I think that's it for my update for now. I will update you guys with my weight loss and my I'll update you after next Wednesday with my weight loss, and I will update you. Actually, Wednesday is my E2 level check, so I will update you guys on Wednesday night. Bye.